Okay, guys, welcome back. And as always, thank you for watching. Uh, and I am going to whittle down all the highlights, explanations. I am in moments mode. I'm actually playing with signature teams, AL signature teams. Um, I'm playing with uh, the signature Boston Red, Red Sox against my Diamond Dynasty team. And it's so cool because you build your ultimate fantasy baseball team and you get to play against the greats of the game and you get to, get to, get to compete against others. The rewards, uh, as you can see, I'm only showing you highlights. I think that was Dustin Pedroia. Anyway, uh, um, the really cool thing about moments is that you get all these cool rewards. In fact, I'm going to get just a regular pack, and then I'm going to get um, a, a flashback pack, and then I get, I get some other kind of reward. I get like some equipment or something at the end, but I end up getting like three rewards, plus I get experience, plus I get stubs. So is that like something ridiculous, like five rewards in there? There's my home run with Frank Thomas right there. Okay, this is just going to be a little bit of a highlight of a bloop single to write with Miguel Cabrera. Um, you'll see at the end the rewards, but I do recommend that you look at the reward paths and try to understand them because the rewards compound. And I end up getting a lot of cool rewards. Sometimes I'll, I'll play like a game and all of a sudden I get 6,000 stubs out of it if you play the right rewards. So I recommend if you are new to this game, whatever it is, um, I actually restarted the game here. That's why it's 1-0 to zero and Pedroia's home run isn't there. There is a big home run by Ted Williams. It's always amazing to see Ted Williams hitting a home run in Fenway Park. So I was really glad that he did that against my team. <laughs> it's kind of a, you know, you don't want to win them all. You just don't want to win them all. You learn, you, you learn more in losing. It's like, a, you know, I guess being born rich, for example. You just never know. Anyway, this ends up being the literally the closest thing to a home run with Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza has been performing very well with me. I, I, I don't think you could possibly get closer to a home run than this. I've seen this in, uh, not in real life, but on TV up close, the top of the green monster. And there's a little lip right there that curls up. It's not completely flat. And I've seen a ball hit that exact same spot. And it will, when it hits that spot, it's kind of flat. And the end of the brown curls up almost like a mini gutter. And if it hits it just right, it will bounce back in. So it's so weird that they got that right. Uh, there, um, so it does land on top exactly like you're seeing, but there's a little kind of lippy thing there. It's like a rain gutter or something, and it stops the ball. And, and if it was like one millimeter higher, that would have been a home run. So you cannot possibly get any closer to a home run in Fenway Park. So in this game, I literally almost, uh, ooh, man, that was a nice hit. Look, I'm struggling with it right there. He ends up getting a double out of this, and this becomes almost like a comedy of errors. If you, if you look at this inning, the fact that he even got past my first baseman's miracle. Now if you look at this play, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's actually on the line. It only went about 15, 16 feet, maybe 20 feet. And if you can see here in slow motion, he beats out the throw right before it enters the glove. It's so realistic. But this kind of comedy of errors is leading to putting men on base. And the guy on second advanced to third. It's so crazy. And look at this. Same inning. It literally shoots off his leg. And he's safe. A run scores from all of these little fluky plays. It's so crazy. The second and third one were a complete fluke. Now the guys on first and second advance and are safe because of the pass ball. This is literally a comedy of errors. This is absolutely crazy. They have just scored and I have to stop the bleeding somehow. But it's so much fun. I mean, the fact that all these really super, super cool things happen in one game with five different rewards. This is literally, can, it's just, they have perfected this game. For, for me to see, Honestly, Ted Williams hit a home run. Uh, um, 
for me to almost hit the top of the green monster in a minute you're going to see what i do with pesky pole on the right field for them to get like a beat out of a throw to first by just like an inch it's just so crazy and this is finally the luck is starting to turn my way again and i i, I just challenge him I'm not messing around. I Once I get challenged by them, I challenge back. Wade Boggs has been a pest and a half to me. And when he came up to bat here, I was just like, this is not the guy I want to see. Luckily, I challenged him. But Wade Boggs is a beast. Wade Boggs is also the guy that said that Altuve is the best hitter of this generation. Here's me with Lou Brock. Bam! And I hit pesky pole right there. So in one game, I hit the very top of the green monster. And I hit pesky pole. That is crazy. The amount of highlights in this one little tiny game and the amount of rewards I get. Uh, there's my home run with uh, Frank Thomas. Like I said, besides the rewards you're going to see here, the three rewards you're going to see, you're also going to see, or I'm going to tell you, I also got experience points and I got stubs. So I got about five different rewards off this. Okay, there's the beautiful swing of Ted Williams in Fenway Park. Man, there's nothing like it. Ted Williams. What a great hitter. What a great hitter. Okay, he was better than Altuve. <laughs> I'll tell you that. That Ted Williams, maybe the greatest hitter of all time. Not the greatest power hitter. The greatest hitter. There's little categories there. So, uh... I think the greatest player of all time, of course, was Babe Ruth. And I have my reasons that I'll explain in another video for that. But it has to do with his OPS slugging and the fact that he was... Uh... Oh, there's that pesky little play. And the fact that Babe Ruth also pitched and won three different World Series games. He was the complete player. Anyway, Ted Williams, the greatest hitter of all time. Here's, here's Lou Brock's uh, pesky pull home run. Oh, man, that is so cool that I did that all in one game. That is so cool. Man, that's a lot of, a lot of highlights for one little tiny game. Okay, so there's my third reward, the nonchalant. Um, and I can't remember if I sell them or add them to my, my uh, items. But I, I probably end up selling it because I, I haven't gotten close to getting all those items. Maybe I'll get it next year. Anyway, and then I get the Legends and Flashbacks. And then I get a... Uh, a program and it's probably because I reached the, uh, the the amount of stars that you need when you're achieving like besides doing this one event I'm, I'm achieving like a bigger picture and I probably reached a plateau anyway these are little tiny cards and I'm just gonna I, if it says new I keep it if it says a duplicate I sell it um, I could probably just even skip past it I kind of just do whatever's fastest or whatever makes sense at the time but I don't want to look back on these cards that I don't want so here's a gold player right here and he's a duplicate because it says total owned right there too don't even need to bother to sell him okay let's open up the other pack okay I own two of those so I'll just quick sell it no point that's nothing right there you could tell when it turns a color. That's nothing right there. And, ah, nothing. Okay, now let's see if this is a bronze. Yeah, that's a bronze player right there. Just sell him for 25. And let's move on to the Legends and Flashbacks player who I get. All right, gold player right there. Wade Boggs, Wade Boggs. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Ah, oh, Goose Gossage. Actually, I ended up getting him twice today uh, in the same kind of format. So uh, he's a great player. I Actually, he has a lot of cool history, too. Uh, he was fearless. Anyway, that's my video. Hopefully, you guys liked it. I tried to pack a lot into this nine and a half minutes with you. And then I will see you guys next time. Take care.